Hi guys, it's Lynn here. I hope you're having an absolutely incredible day. Now today guys, this is a bit of an update and also a bit of a repotting of my little Slumberjira Froni that I got from um, Plant Gusto um, on the cactus and uh, cacti and succulent cuttings that we got and um, if you didn't see the original video with the unboxing video I did when when I had these wonderful wonderful cuttings then links up above to that video do check that out and um, I'm very 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 happy I have to say this was um, a couple of weeks ago now and we had a couple of um, um, slumbergeras well three slumbergeras slumbergia and pentioids that we've got rooting at the moment slumbergia lutea that we've also got rooting at the moment and um, slumbergia froni which is this one and I'm pleased to say this one has got developed roots purely in water and very good results with it and we've got the slumbergia pentioids we've got potted up in um, in soil that hopefully is rooting so that's doing well so far and um, the lutea is still sending out tiny little roots still too too early days but this has got a great root system on it and I've successfully rooted Slumbergia before with water um, and rainwater and very happy with it so as you can see very very good roots there hope you get an idea very very good and um, I'm gonna be in this video potting it up now it's time to pot it up and I have made a video before on rooting uh, Christmas cactus cuttings in water and um, how it worked out for me. I've always before put them directly into soil after letting them callous over for a few days after cutting them. Um, and it's always been very good for me also. But um, I recently, well recently, last year, the year before I think, started rooting them in water. I'd take the cuttings, leave them to callus for a few days, put them into water, and they'd root very well. And the good thing is about rooting with water is you can see when the roots are coming on them. And also with all cuttings, especially cactus cuttings, sometimes unfortunately um, they do rot even when you're doing everything right. But you can, if you notice it in water, you can get it straight away. Now, by the way, I'd never ever recommend rooting cactus cuttings in water. Um, the only ones I ever would do is epiphytic cacti such as epiphyllums and slumbergeras or ripsalidopsis. They're the only ones and epiphytic cacti are totally different to desert cacti. Um, I'll just show an example of a desert cactus here for example um, because they like to be kept totally dry. If I was to take a cutting of that and put it in water it would rot. So um, again, totally different. This is purely for epiphytes in this advice here. But anyway, enough of my waffle. <laughs> I just hopefully share a little bit of a little bit of advice there. And um, now I'm gonna repot this. I'm gonna show you the little potted up process. Now I've got a little pot here. And I didn't want to put in too big of a pot because obviously it's still going to got a very small root system as you can see there. So the last thing I want to do is put it into a big pot where it could rot. And uh, what I've done, I normally with normal type of cacti such as desert types, I usually use a loam based soil with extra perlite or grit and um, also extra horticultural sand for, for a lot of drainage. But with epiphytic cacti, such as Schlumbergera. I use more peat based soil. Now I do use a bit of loam but I also add a bit of peat as well because they are epiphytic so they don't need a, a huge rich sort of heavy type of soil like more of the, the cacti, um, desert cacti do. So I've mixed here some peat, um, about 50% peat with 50% um, loam. Oh excuse me that's my phone. Uh -huh. Sorry guys. <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> As is my phone going, I've had to answer it. Anyway, back to um, what we're going on about here. Now, yep, so what I've done is I've used a 50% um, loam based soil and 50% peat based. I like to use extra peat with the epiphytic cacti and just a small amount of perlite. And um, as I say, um, epiphytic type of cacti such as Slumbergera, commonly known as the Christmas cacti or the holiday cacti or the Thanksgiving cacti, do like to be um, a lot more moisture than the desert cacti would do. So mix it all together in there, and then uh, I'm going to be gently placing that in like so. <laughs> and then obviously the root system is still very fragile, so I want to make sure just very carefully put the soil around it there. And I'm going to be very careful with the watering because this is just recently rooted, so I don't need to um, go crazy keeping it in soggy soggy soil or anything like that, just very gently tapping it down there, 
pressing it down just so um so it's able to stand up now i'm not going to press too hard as i say the roots are still very fragile very fresh and young there and that's that's really it <laughs> So that's because I'm very, very pleased that that's rooted. So rooted very fast as well, considering. Because sometimes it can take a while for them to root. So it only took a, took a few weeks, which is great news. And that's it. And I can pot it up when it gets a bit bigger. And then I've got the little label there. Slumberjira Frony Hybrid. And that's uh, because it's a hybrid. Now, <coughs> obviously, um, gently press it in so it's all, all nicely tucked in without pressing down too hard. Now I'm going to be keeping this giving this a little bit of water now a bit of spray water with some rain water just going to spray so it's slightly damp and then i'm going to give it a good water after a few days the reason being is i want to wait for the um, the newly formed roots just to acclimatize to the soil so if i go mad and sort of give it a really thorough watering now the last thing i'd want to do is to is to rot the roots or cause any damage so as i say gently spraying it with rain water just to, to miss the top surface of the soil and after a few days i'm going to start watering it as normal and as I say, epiphytic cacti, um, the slumbergeras, um, actively carry on growing throughout the winter. As you know, they are winter flowering. So these are kept completely different to the desert type of cacti. And normally with slumbergeras, they are quite cold hardy. And we keep some of ours in the polytunnel. Um, and they can take sort of a minimum of about seven to eight Celsius, ideally. Otherwise, they tend to scar on their foliage and um, become not so healthy. So I think this year I may be possibly overwintering more of mine inside the house. But this one, because it's still so young and it's a cutting, I'm going to be overwintering this one in the house um, until it's obviously more fully formed to um, withstand the colder temperatures. And there you go, guys. That's it all lovely and planted under nicely potted so um just turn it round so i can see you all again <laughs> Oops. so that's great guys so guys thanks so much for watching and i want to send you loads of love heaps of happiness and tons and tons of plant power as always from across the emerald isle and until the next video Bye.